The world looks brand new, Hobbes says. Calvin replies, a fresh, clean start, a day full of possibilities. Young Calvin and his lovable tiger Hobbes are on a sled. It is winter. It has just snowed. As they start to disappear down a hill on their adventure, Calvin speaks to Hobbes and to us. It's a magical world, Hobbes. Let's go exploring. Father Frank, Mr. Kernian, faculty, staff, family, friends, and fellow members of the class of 2019. Calvin and Hobbes didn't have any expectations for what they wanted to find when they went exploring. Jesuit, on the other hand, expects a lot from us as we go exploring. The expectations not only to make good grades, but to be intellectually competent. Not only to build friendships, but to be loving. Not only to help others, but to be committed to doing justice. Not only to say our daily prayers, but to be religious and to change ourselves and the world around us for the greater glory of God. These defining characteristics of a Jesuit graduate are encapsulated in the final attribute, openness to growth. In being open to growth, a student is willing to take on new ideas, experiences, and challenges, and to welcome God's plan wherever it takes him. The class of 2019 has not only continued traditions of academic and athletic excellence, but we have also established and developed new and unique traditions in being open to growth and change. More than just going to monthly mass, seniors have increased their participation of serving and reading scripture in daily morning mass, which have provided a way to start the day off with thanks and praise to God. More than just completing hours of a service project, members of our class have stepped up to volunteer to feed breakfast to the homeless every Wednesday at Grace at the Green Light. Others started a book drive to help disadvantaged young people around the city read literature and become inspired by role models in that literature. And our student section went to far more than just football games. We brought the gizzard to levels of energy and enthusiasm never before seen at all sporting events, from eighth grade basketball games to bowling matches. I'm proud to be part of a class filled with passion and commitment, a class that continues to change Jesuit high school. Many men, however, came before the class of 2019 in shaping the future of Jesuit high school. Two men stand out in Jesuit history for exemplifying an openness to growth, Matt Grau and Paul Frederick. Mr. Grau, class of 68, sitting right in front of us, is retiring. Throughout his 44-year career at Jesuit high school, he has continually pushed to make Jesuit greater. He is the one who moved morning assembly outside into the courtyard, and he has also made literature come alive to students and faculty by bringing in authors to tell their stories through the Visiting Authors Program. Mr. Frederick, having recently passed into the next life, is watching from above. As an administrator at Jesuit for nearly six decades, his legacy includes the rotating schedule, the grading system, and the code of conduct, innovations at Jesuit that today we take for granted. Both of these men were open to wherever the will of God took them at Jesuit high school. 
They were outstanding educators and agents of tangible change. Thank you, Mr. Frederick, and thank you, Mr. Grau. To grow is to change. For as we leave Jesuit for a world of boundless possibilities, there's a lesson we need to remember. Perhaps it was best said by someone whom I know Mr. Grau will appreciate, Bob Dylan. He says, come gather round people wherever you roam and admit that the waters around you have grown and accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone. If your time to you is worth saving, then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone. For the times, they are a changing. My friends of the class of 2019, continue to grow. The waters around us may rise. Let us not sink like a stone. Keep swimming, and as Father Franck encouraged us the other day, go and set the world on fire. God bless you, and thank you.